In this Minecraft tutorial I'm going to build this easy and simple survival tower filled with a crafting room with some furnaces, crafting table, anvil and a jukebox. We have also a basement for enchanting with an enchantment table, bookshelves and a chest for some storage. We have also a second floor with a bed and more storage. And we have also a top floor here, which will be a good advantage point for you to look out for some enemies or maybe some animals or whatever. So let's see what this build will be. Okay guys, right now we're going to build this tower and first of all we are going to look at what we're going to use. First of all we're going to use a cobblestone block, cobblestone stairs, cobblestone slab, oak fence and glass pane. And here is the pattern of the build. So first of all take the cobblestone and make um, an arch with five blocks up like this. And do that. Nice. And five blocks up here too. And do this for all four sides. Okay. Right now we're going to put one block there because the door is going to be here. Put one block there, there and there. And we now have an A on the front side and some O's or zeros on the sides, which will be windows. And now we're going to add another layer on top of this, which is going to be the floor for the second floor. Nice, okay. It's going to look like this. Then you're going to do the same thing we did for the first floor and make five blocks up and make some windows like this. So five blocks up and uh, take one block at the bottom and at the top and copy it for the other sides. Okay, nice. Right now the build should look like this. So now we're going to make it look better. So take your, uh, or wait a second. I have to change the time so it doesn't <laughs> go night time. Like that, okay. Now put some cobblestone stairs where I have put the wool on the ground. And we will also put a cobblestone block in each corner like this. Okay, next part is above the window of the first floor, you're going to take an upside down stair, like this. And then we're going to do the same as uh, the low level and put some cobblestone blocks in the corners. Like this. Then we're going to do the same thing for the bottom of the second floor window. And put some cobblestone stairs right here to make it look more aesthetic and cool. And you can put the cobblestone block in each corner here as well. We will also do this for the top of the windows. Okay, nice. The build should look like this. And now we're going to make it look a little more fashionable by putting some oak fences in each corner like this and also one in the middles here. Then we're going to do this for all four sides of the build. Right, right now the build should look like this and we can do the roof. So add one layer on top of this with cobblestone blocks. You will then fill out the inside. And now it should look like this. And we can then put some cobblestone stairs here on the small part sticking out right, right there. And then you can put some cobblestone slabs in each of the corners and then fill the rest of the sides out with regular cobblestone blocks, like this. So now it should look like this, and to make it look a tiny bit better, we should put some oak fences in the middles, like 
this. Okay, nice. So now the next part is to uh, put some glass panes into the windows. Also here we're going to have some uh, ladders going up, so the corner there should be uh, cut off. Okay, nice. And we will also have a cobblestone floor for the first floor. And we will also have a basement, so leave that spot open. And we will also put a door at the front. Like this. Now the build should look like this, and we will begin to uh, fill out the inside of the house very soon. Okay, one thing I forgot to do was to put a trapdoor here on the top, and then put some ladders going downwards, like this, and also complete the basement, of course. So, right now, you should just put the ladders downwards, and right here, we should start making the basement with going five blocks down and then trying to make the basement look like the first floor in how big it is. So five blocks up and three by three on the sides. Okay, so the room should look like this and you can fill out the floor with some cobblestone and you could leave one spot in the middle open like this. And then you can make the walls go one block inwards like this. Okay, that's nice, and you can put three cobblestone blocks like this. And right now we should get ready to fill out the entire build with some furniture. Okay guys, right now we should uh, fill out the build with some furniture and we will start with the first floor with a crafting table and some furnaces here in the corner, like this. Then we're going to put an anvil and a jukebox here. And we will also put some torches up at top here and there so it will be light and uh, right now I think we're going to go to the basement or maybe we should go to the second floor perhaps here we will have a bed and some chests for storage and we will also make two holes here and then instead of having regular blocks we're going to use some cobblestone stairs so the chests can open even though they're under there so fill up the chests going upwards like this and on the other side and we can make a little table with an upside down stairs like this torch right there and a torch right there okay nice then we can go down to the basement and complete that so here is going to be in the enchantment room so put a torch down there and then the enchantment table up top and then uh, on the walls on the side we're going to use some bookshelves I know this is going to be a survival tower or like an easy survival tower, but you don't need to have all the walls down here filled with bookshelves. I know you just need 15 bookshelves or something, I can't remember quite well, but you don't need to fill it out, but since I'm creative, I'm just using it like this because it looks better. You can just use 15 at the bottom if you want and fill the rest out with cobblestone. So here on the side we are supposed to have a chest so you can have lapis lazuli or maybe some enchanted books or weapons inside. So now we have an enchantment room, so finish the ladders going downwards and you can get in and out of here quite easily. Then we have the first floor, the second floor is done, but also to make it look a tiny bit better, I'm going to use some flowers and flower pot to just make it look a tiny bit better. And now on the top here you can do whatever you want you could for example have uh, maybe a chest here in the corner which you can put some bows and arrows or some weapons in it or you could and light this place a little more up with some torches or you can choose to do what you want you could also increase this tower with some more floors because you probably know by now how to make this tower go uh, one floor by time so 
that was the entire build. It is quite simple to make and it looks quite good and you have a good advantage or vantage point at the top. So without further ado, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!